Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 526. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gast, joined by Mike Sneedy. Yep. Corey Feinside. Happy almost New Year, finally. Yep. <laughs> and Tony Korkanakis. Fuck off 2020. <laughs> uh, welcome, listeners and viewers, to uh, the end of 2020. Um, so, yeah, one more day in this uh, crazy, well, two more days. Two more days in this crazy year um, for us, but uh, one more when you listen to this. So, yeah, we're going to do a little look back on movies of 2020. I guess we'll talk a little TV shows if you guys want. Mm-hmm. Um, we did our spoiler cast last week for The Mandalorian, so check that out, guys, if you have not yet already. Sorry, I'm breaking in a new chair on the air, essentially. So, um, oh, the Ken Lock. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, all right. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's. Um, that's where we're at, guys. So yeah, let's 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 kick it off with what we've been up to. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I've been watching. Like, I I've been playing a lot of video games. So uh, nice. I like, what I've been watching. I'm trying to think. Like since Mandalorian ended, I I've watched a lot of YouTube reaction shots to Luke Skywalker. Um, <laughs> there's like I've been a compilation of that, and there was like some drama behind that this week apparently. Yeah, which, <laughs> as a Star Wars fan, I'm sorry, but I think it was blown way out of proportion um, because Pablo. Um, oh, Pedro, pa- Pedro, um, no. Pedro Pascal. Um, I was calling Pablo Hidalgo, but Pedro Pascal uh, apparently made fun of the, the Star Wars. No, 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 no. It was you have the names completely backwards. Well, oh, I have them mixed up. Okay. Yes, it was definitely not Pedro Pascal. Okay. Do not say that. Pablo Hidalgo. Okay. Mm-hmm. Backed up. Yes. Uh, it was Who? apparently. In front. Is it Pablo Hidalgo? You sure I got yeah, that Yeah, right? he is a producer with Lucasfilm. Um, yes. That's and he exactly. was also – also the, the context is he's one of the staunchest online vocal defenders of The Last Jedi. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. Pablo Hidalgo. I got it. I got it right the first time. And I, I wanted to correct myself to Pedro. Sorry, Pedro. Um, yeah, but that's news. I mean – I don't what know. Do like, do? It was, it was, Basically, was the guy there's, was there's this guy. There's this guy. Well, he's one of many, but this guy ugly cried. And I mean, if you want to make fun of him for that, uh, please do. Because I, I was laughing. It is kind it. of funny to look at. But so he ugly yeah. cried in his reaction video. And this Pablo Hidalgo guy who, again, like he's got all this sort of he says that it's like a selective fake showing of emotion to try to prove a point. He, he didn't believe it was real. And then he says, like, oh, well, this is just silly anyway. Basically, he said yeah. that, the, that these people reacted this way just to, like, you know, in, mm-hmm. further c- continue their agenda or against, you know, the stuff that he likes more, I guess. I don't know. So then that became a thing the other way. Uh, well, I mean, I never believe reaction videos anyway. Like, there's very, very few I ever take at face value. I mean, that's just the era we live in. So but we got a lot of good, good actors then. On there. We do. I mean, we remember the whole like, you know, leave Britney alone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was yeah. that was one guy. <laughs> That's an yeah. example. No, though, like, it was the, basically the whole YouTube Star Wars universe got behind it, and just I, do honestly, anything, like, like fill in the blank reaction, and like you yeah, watch them. Sure. I guarantee sure. You, the majority of them are fake. Yeah, I mean, they're yeah. fake. I, the hardest thing you can't you can't cry unless you're an actor too much, though. I don't know. Like crying, like if you want to overreact, you want to act way excited, you want to be scared but not really scared, that's one thing. But I don't know. I think that takes a little bit more of acting chops to, to cry on command like that. But who knows? I'm sure some yeah. are fake, but there, there were a lot. And I, I think it's a weird thing for the, the yeah. a producer to try to get into all that, but whatever. I, I, I thought it was a weird, weird comment, like, did, I don't know, the reactions, like, did they know this was happening? Like, did these... Like they saw the show and then like, oh, let's get these other stuff. That's Star Wars what I'm saying. That's it. what I'm saying. It's like, oh, that's it's so that's what I want. You know, I think it was real. I think it was. It's for the think, clips, I mean, so that's what A lot said. of them I do think are genuine and like there are people that sure. will genuinely feel like that and they just try to, you know, express that on camera. But yeah, yeah. It's not like they're. Um, you know, I think oh a lot God, of them are. Luke is killing some droids. Oh man. Uh, Jim was saying yeah. that he was standing and tearing up. So, I was, I yeah. was, I wasn't like that guy. Happens. That guy was like pure. Oh, it was, it was, it wasn't. I don't know. I've not seen any of these reactions, but I, I can't imagine. 
it was i mean some of them were nice and you can tell were genuine and the other ones were just you know way overreaction for viewers and no and no i don't i don't know i don't know if i saw anything that was an overreaction to be honest i don't i don't think anything was really fake there i know of some of times one person would have another person watch it when they knew already and there was a lot of couples where one was just like more calm and the other one was like what but yeah I don't know. All right. Uh, anyways, that's that's really I haven't really watched much besides like normal like toys that the toys that made us. I watched another episode of that, but nothing like of, of note. Um, Mike, what have you been watching? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. All right, Corey. Well, it's really not much going on. I uh. Did I, you take the dot? Did you? I I got the HBO Max. Oh, oh boy. He, I've, See, I've been waiting for this. You know what's funny though, because while I got another very, very guilty package, and there with that guilty package came I mean, a free a free trial of HBO Max. So okay, I All might. Right. I'm not I'm not doing it yet, but I might at some point. So anyway, yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like fourteen, fifteen dollars, whatever for the month. That's fine. I'm gonna cancel it after that. But um, there's a bunch of stuff like you were saying before, Jim. You know, it's like there's a few things. Like I don't, I don't know if there's a six month a... worth of content for me, but there's at least a couple things on there that I'll check out. First thing, obviously, yeah. is going to be Wonder Woman 1984. And I have to say, I saw a few uh, impressions and things like yes, that, yeah. and they are definitely understated. This is the <laughs> worst piece of shit I have seen in a very long time. Like, but, is this, like this is holy like, crap. Where is this, this compared is to Dark? Dark Phoenix. Awful, awful. Where like, is it? Where I is legitimately dark? hated parts of this movie. Like, not like dislike, uh-huh. like, I like, hated things in this movie. That it just it did not belong. There's, like, no consequence. There's no reason. There's, like, basically the movie is just, like, if you wish it, you can have it. And <laughs> that's the movie. Like, that is, yeah. like, <laughs> that is the whole basis of the entire film. And, ah, uh, it felt like, um... And I, I so for, like the Super Friends cartoon show, how cheesy that is, you know, but it's like, eh, whatever, it's cheesy. It's kind of meant to be like that. I don't know if they're going for that here, but there's a super cheese in this movie. And oh, really? the, the CGI is terrible. Like, it, it's like oh, it's CW is doing it better. Like CW does it better on Flash, like or Supergirl. It's like. They, their CG, their special effects looked better than this movie's special effects. So uh, yeah, somebody so how, posted her running and it was terrible. How like, bad was yeah, I, um, Kristen Wiig? Kristen Wiig wasn't that, that terrible. Like she was fine in because of this movie was just so awful around everyone now. Like it just was. Oh my god! It's just like it is so awful. Like what did were they doing? Like I don't understand how this woman made the first movie and then made this movie. Like it. There's oh. no comparison. The this first is movie, just awful. The thing is, I, the first movie was just like sort of by the numbers. Like, uh, it was all there, like to just. But it looked good. Like, it, they, like sure, things it was, looked nice. It was a like, theatrical yeah, I was gonna say, it just looks like a Hallmark film almost. Like, this could have been a freaking Hallmark movie, and like, it is super wow. long. It's like over two hours. For what? I, all I know is <sighs> like. When you have people chiming in, like, do you guys know who Josh Gates is? Like, the best, you know, Expe- no. Expedition Unknown guy, Destination Truth. He's, like, uh, just a random Discovery Channel guy. I was on Twitter going, <laughs> that, mo- that movie was not good. <laughs> it's oh, just, like, like, it's just, like, that's it's most rea- – and, and Greg Miller. Greg Miller in this industry is a pretty big name. And he, to his grave, will take Batman vs. Superman being a very good movie. And he has defended DC movies like crazy. He said that this movie has a lot of issues. Yeah. yeah. No, I, for one, like, things just happen because, you know what? Okay. We're going to have something happen because there's no reason for it, but we'll just have this happen. No explanation, no justification, and no consequence for it, any, anything. It's just, just going to happen. And then this other thing, well, this will just happen, and this will happen because this other thing needed to happen, so we just had this other thing happen. And so now all these things are happening, but there is no reason for it whatsoever. And then everything gets resolved, and it's like, well, why? What? What? What just happened? Like, what did we watch? Like, what? What did we learn here? We've learned I, nothing. So I, I have heard it really falls apart in the second half. Like, really falls apart. It falls apart everywhere. Uh, like, I was <laughs> gonna say, like, so, so I would this... rather watch New Mutants. New Mutants has better special effects. Like, this is. Mm. 
So oh my God. How this is just compare, awful. Though, again, how does it compare to Dark Phoenix? Because this was the reaction more or less that it got from you. Yeah, no, I mean, Dark Phoenix is the worst movie I've ever seen. This is, like, <laughs> right there, though. It is wow. right there. Right there. <laughs> Impressive. It is, wow. Yeah. So it's still – Dark Phoenix is still worse than this, though. Dark Phoenix is still worse, definitely. But Ooh, this movie wow. is – wow. I, this is, yeah. I, you know, I want to see it. I want to see it, but I don't – I think this is going to be that piecemeal movie where I can watch it in chunks, and then that will be the end I of heard, it. So maybe by next I week I'll watch it. I heard such awful things about it. I ruined it for, ruined it for myself. And apparently <laughs> there's something really problematic where um, – I like your son, Corey. Apparently, like, the whole theme or the gimmick is, like, there's something that grants wishes or something like that. So, of course, the, spoiler alert, I guess, right? Like, just, we know in the promotions a certain character comes back, right? Like, right. Yeah. Yeah, Chris yeah. Pine's in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Chris Pine's in this movie. So, she wishes him back, right, to life. Because why wouldn't you? If you had the power, why not? But apparently, with the power of a wish, that... For some reason, the plot could they could dictate what happens in the plot. Apparently, instead of just like being like poof, he's he's right here. His soul inhibits a body of a random person, like a man, <laughs> but she only sees him as Chris Pine, Chris. right? What? Right? Yeah. But so if he, he looks in the mirror, so like, he sees so his random dude. So it's, it's so quantum it's a little leap. shallow how. It's quantum so it's leap. A little shallow how. Yeah. Shallow no, how. It's, it's quantum leap. Yeah. It's quantum leap. So or then, he's or yeah, he's yeah. a vampire. Yeah. So then. <laughs> She sleeps with him the first night because why wouldn't you? Even though it's the, this other dude's body that he's not consenting to any of this, and then you know the whole movie he gets you know his body gets thrown in danger because you know gotta have an action adventure romp, and uh, you know by the end of the movie she's like ah ha, good time and stuff like that, and it was like people are just really weirded out, and I'm just like why like if you had like why would you need to write that like you had to put more work into explaining it than just being like all right he, Chris Pine's back like that's it. Like, you had to put more effort into to be like, all right, so he's going to take over a random body of this dude, and we got to explain that, and we got to have this scene. And then he looks in the mirror. Yeah, I and think there's a reason else. that they did it this way because of something else that happens, but it's like, okay. whatever. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's, it's just so stupid. <laughs> like, she turns into this, like, cre a, 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 uh, she's Wonder Woman, and now she's this, like, Oh, I'm melting in my ex-lover's hands who died, and it's like I can't let him go. I can't like oh, it's so oh my god. And the so, the, the uh, way it all wraps up is just like, and I don't want to say like lazy writing is like because people had to think of this, you know. But this was some of the most lazy writing <laughs> ever. Like, and you don't want to say it, but but I have to, man. I have to because this is <laughs> it's like um. Like some of the issues with time travel you have, it's like you can you do whatever you want because time, because of time travel, whatever. In this movie, it's, you can do whatever you want because wishing, like just wish it, just you can just wish for anything. You can just wish, <laughs> and it's like, yeah, okay. And so it's like, I wished for a better movie. It didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> but yeah, it's what's funny is like I thought Kristen Wiig was fine as the character. Uh, she just played herself. Like if you if you know who Kristen Kristen, Kristen Wiig is, that's the character she plays, and uh, it was fine. But the reason for her to become Cheetah is just so oh yeah, yeah I heard that that was the other thing is apparently like she kills like this man who sexually assaulted her or like was trying to sexually assault her, and like that portrays her as a villain and like. Really? Like, she is never really a villain, like so to speak, because I, I don't want to spoil things that people actually are going to watch it. It's just <laughs> I might eventually, but I, I, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch yeah, it. Yeah, if you got HBO really Max, I don't you can care. Watch about, it I got HBO just... Max because I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna watch this movie, and then I kept seeing all the reactions, and I'm like, oh, I'm not watching this movie at least this week. Uh, oh, yeah. So I, I don't, I don't really care if it's spoiled for me. I don't. I'll end up watching it at some point. Um, although now it's in the same area as New Mutants, uh, maybe I won't. I, New Mutants I'm is a better now, movie. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Um, uh, confidence in Patty Jenkins for Star Wars now? I mean, she's. I think she did not care about this film that much. Like honestly, I just think she was really? kind of contractually obligated to make this film, but, and then like, but a follow up are, to a big movie. They already said now, though. At least there's reports that she and Gal Gadot. Are gonna come so back for a, a, third, a, one, a yeah. third one. Oh my 
goodness. <laughs> confirmed. So, yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, they, so, they, they, they uh, fast tracked. I mean, she. All right. Well, she one. had a good, uh, a decent film the first time around. Good, I would even say. Yeah. And then this yeah, one is yeah. just the first one. I remember right. talking about it at Hopshaven. We're all like, yeah, you know, the first one. Best, best solid, DC movie. Solid, yeah. right? Very solid. Very solid. Like, we're yeah, all looking yeah, for the second one. We're like. Yeah, the second one probably can do a billion dollars. And, you know, obviously it's not going to COVID, but like, it's just like, wow. Oh my God. The up. opening sequence, too, is like yeah. so stupid. Boy. Like, she's like in the trailer, you've seen in the trailer, she's this little kid. She's competing in this this Ninja Warrior triathlon or whatever. Like, and I saw against it, all yeah. the I other saw women, the like older women. Like, and she's supposed to be, she's like going to beat these people at this thing or something, but then she like cheats. <laughs> and so then it's like, Robin Wright Penn's there. It's like, oh, truth. Truth is the most important thing. So I guess that's the reason the lasso's around, because of truth, whatever. And then the lasso looks like shit the whole movie. It's like... Uh, what happened? Her, is, like, do you think... Do you think in the trailers, you, do you see think her this movie doing just, this all the time? Like, oh, my... What? Yeah. And Maybe all this budget. movie, like, just... All right, spoiler, a little spoiler. A little spoiler. We have, we have the whole movie. movie. She learns to fly in this movie. And she learns, to, like, how old is she? I don't know. Like, she's, like, h- like 100 years old or whatever. She learns to fly in this movie because Chris Pine says one thing to her. And now <laughs> she can fly. She, she, she's like, oh, how, like, how do you do it? And he's like, what, well, flying's easy. You just catch the wind. And she's like, oh, okay. Wee! I'm flying now. Uh, <laughs> it's so yeah. ridiculous. Anyways, Tony, what have you been, been watching? I watched uh, Disney and Pixar's uh, Soul. Um, oh yes good contrast i heard that was good that was excellent i would yeah highly 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 recommend it um i mean if for nothing but just the animation and like seeing them like this is some of the best like lighting it's some of the best animation uh i mean just seeing new york like parts of new york realized in this way it's like super cool uh but the story is 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 really fun uh well part of it is sorry (laughs) part of it is fun then it gets not so fun. Uh, but then it's a fun romp with um, the two main characters and stuff like that. And a lot of what the underlying themes were about really reminded me of um, The Good Place, actually. Oh. It just what they deal with, like, after death and, you know, purpose and meaning and, you know, philosophical, you know, metaphysical, spirituality or that kind of stuff. So if you like that aspect of The Good Place, I would recommend this movie just for that alone um so yeah it was really cool and like some of the stuff they just did with uh the characters um is just so fun to watch because they really go like balls and wall because like it's like oh like not superpowers but like you know godly powers or heavenly Mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it where they're just like these things don't have to adhere to or you know laws or of any kind it's just like whatever they're they're just going balls and wall with the creativity and stuff like that but a really great movie highly recommend it um, it's one yeah. of those Pixar cool. movies that I don't know how well it's going to appeal to kids because it's really more of a, you know, teenage. I started adult. watching it with my boys and they got a little distracted with other stuff. I, I can see that because like the main character is an older guy, um, deals with like you know concepts that I don't think kids can really relate to that well and stuff like that. But uh, mm-hmm. great movie, great movie. Cool, cool. All right. Um, let's maybe we still only have there's really not much news going on. There's some Batman news, which we've talked about Batman forever here, guys. We're gonna get maybe a multiverse with Batman. Kilmer. What, yeah, uh, Michael Keaton is being talked about. Um, um, where's that George Clooney? Come on, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't know, we'll find out, but as we learn more next year, that'll unfold, I'm sure. Um, for this year, though, we're gonna. You know, we're gonna finish this year out talking about a uh, 2020 year year in review, and it brought us movies that I'm shocked when we do our of the years, like our you know. And by the way, this is like our favorites of the year. It's not like we go out and see every single movie or we play every single game because we play what we want to play. So like, it's like our, the best of for us. Uh, uh, you know, so How for we those who are new in our watching. roles as industry outsiders. Yes. <laughs> Um, yes. So yeah, it's um, our opinions can't be bought. <laughs> so basically, what I would like to do is kind of flip through the movies through the through the months, and then um, uh, you know we'll go we'll go over that real quick. I have a list here real quick. So I mean, if if I've skipped something, you guys can stop me. But you know, I think the first big movie of the year ended up being Bad Boys for Life, which actually hit the theaters and did apparently pretty well. Now people went because yeah. they weren't worried about things yet. 
even though there was it was coming. The storm was uh, heading our way. When yeah. was that? February. Um, that was so, January. Right? Oh, was January. January. Jeez, not really. Um, yeah, yeah, I would have. I may have went and saw that if I saw the second <clears throat> one. I saw the first one back in the nineties. I, 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 I don't know. I was uh they're fun they're fun stupid movies yeah they are my dad mm-hmm. my dad's a big bad boys fan it's something that i would have probably gone to the movies and seen uh but it came in it wasn't even started yet but it was like whispers of core already at that point but um that was january 17th that movie mm-hmm. um and then we had birds of prey february 7th which uh i saw and i will tell you all that i hated that movie um i thought it was highly overrated um now I really apparently like that one, so. Yeah, I saw I, that in I the did, theater, I think. I just think that's highly overrated. I did not enjoy it like everybody else. I don't I don't know. I didn't think that she did a great depiction of, of Harley Quinn. I just didn't like the way that she I don't know. I just I just have not liked it. Harley Quinn on her own. It was the different it was definitely a different Harley Quinn for sure. It's yeah. not like the cartoon Harley Quinn, which is very no, good as well, I just, but I think it was definitely like, a different take on it. For, uh, I'd like the video game Harley Quinn. How about that? Or something, you know, that we're used to seeing that Harley Quinn. I just don't <laughs> like her take on Harley Quinn. I don't know, yeah, but well, so we had a Birds of Prey movie, character, even though it's cool. called Birds of Prey. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, well, that wasn't honestly, the original title. No, that was going to be. Um, well, no, it was it was Birds of Prey originally, wasn't it? And then they changed it to Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey or something Bird, like that. It was, it was Birds was of Prey of and the ants, uh, the and emancipation wonderful. of one Harley Quinn or something. Yes. Oh, that's right. That's right. They changed it after it came out. Do you guys remember that? Like, yeah. man, twenty twenty yeah, so seems like it's taken forever. They they acted like that was the problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We had, we had Sonic the Hedgehog, which <laughs> February 14th. Wait, Sonic was Mike? Yeah. 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 Highest grossing uh, superhero movie might, of the year. <laughs> might be my favorite movie of the year. That might be it. But, you know, we'll find out when we get to that this, you know, next year. But well, honestly, like. I can tell you one movie that's not going to be on my favorites list. <laughs> yes. Uh, so. Arch with I, the I, came out. <laughs> I don't know. Like, there was um, The Call to the of the Wild, which I heard was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. And once I saw the trailer for that, I love Harrison Ford, but once CGI once we dog, got a CG dog, that yeah. it's just like no, just the whole the whole thing is purposeless at that point. I'm sorry, you can't relate <laughs> to it. Has no soul. Yeah. And then bad. COVID hit. COVID hit right around then, and then COVID mm-hmm. hit, and <laughs> Onward came out of and, basically yeah, the same. Yeah. I saw Sonic on demand in like you know March or April. Yeah. So. That changed the way we watched movies. You know, we were watching them at home. I mean, it, it, it was a different year for that. And to the point where I I didn't watch a lot of movies. It was we, – we've talked about on this podcast. I, how many times, guys, did we watch – each of us watch comfort shows or movies? Like mm-hmm. it's, it's that kind of a year where you watched a lot of reminiscent shows of your childhood. Well, I mean, or, a lot of shit just got pushed out, too. Yeah, like yeah, we were expecting was, Black Widow like, and we are expecting these bigger movies. I, yeah, but Mike went through Batman the Animated Series. Tony's going through X Men. I mean, it's, it's that kind of a year. The Office we've talked about. Yeah, I went like, to the Office. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there yeah. was also yeah, it's a part of it is though that there was very little new content at least for the first half of the year. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was. I mean, it's true, but I just feel like it was a lot of it is like you know that you want those shows that just you know you lo- you enjoy so much you want to watch that kind of thing in this in this year, and you know, that, and I think that's what takes away from these these newer movies where it's like. Uh, you know, it's funny because like when I'm going to watch something on TV now, I know that there's new episodes of Star Trek Discovery and I have seen like five, six of them. I'm six episodes in now. Um, but I, I pick like, you know, stuff I've seen a billion times. I watched The Office. I watched uh, The Toys That Made Us is a perfect nostalgia kind of thing. Like that is something new that I'll watch because it brings you back to like, you know, childhood exactly. where you yeah. watch that. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, because so, I mean, I, I was even reading this article about how a study how you know, talking about like most people uh, will watch like shows and movies that they've already seen uh, if they're like act, not actively seeking like, hey, I want to see something new just because uh, and especially in times of crisis or trauma or whatever you want to call it, pressure. Yeah. Um, we tend to like things that we know the outcome of because then it's not right. stressful. You don't on have our brain, to worry right? about what's going to happen. And right. Because we, we know, know everything's going to be right. OK. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's it. So I don't know. Uh, I, I like a lot of it was like, did you guys watch Bloodshot at all? The Vin uh, Diesel? Vin no. Diesel. Nope. 
I watched, I, you know, I saw the next kids' movies. I watched some kids' movies. We, you know, we were here with an eight-year-old or seven-year-old at that point. I watched, you know, Trolls World Tour, um, which was not that great. Uh, Scoob, which was a nostalgic kind of movie. And I think that's why I think I did that a little more because it had all of Hanna-Barbera's, like, universe. They made, like, a connective universe with that movie. Um, so, I, you know, that I enjoyed. Uh, then, there were, then there was Artemis Fowl, and that was fucking terrible. Like, Jesus. <laughs> um, that was I love really these bad. reviews we're given today. They're fun. Yeah, but like, <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of like movies over the summer, guys. I mean, what do you have? I mean, like New well, Mutants. Like, like, that's what I'm saying. No, Everything every... like, New Mutants didn't even come out in the summer. It just came out like was it August. August wasn't it like August 28th? New Did Mutants? it just come out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess like... it might have been there. That's basically fall, though. The end of the very end of August. Yeah. I mean, Bill and Ted Face the Music came out, and I watched that, and that was that was good. I like I like that. That 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 was a movie that took forever though to get good. Like, like it's a movie that's not bad, but you're like, can we get to the part where I'm gonna really like this movie? Because you just know it's coming, and then it happens. You're like, yes, okay, this is really good. Um, but uh, <laughs> Tenet. Anybody want to talk about Tenet this year? Didn't see it. So that was a movie. Yet. Just looking back at that. Let's talk, Let's let's talk about Tenet. Let's let's talk about Tenet. So, Boy. Tenet is the perfect example of 2020, I think, where it's like uh, of people that are blinded about 2020, where um, the uh, is it pride, hubris, like just just release it and it'll do well, kind of thing. Is that what Chris Nolan really fucked over the studio with that movie? Like they could have digitally released that movie and probably done way better than what it's done right now for them, uh, mm-hmm. where it, there's no chance of it making its money back. Um, but he pushed it out essentially, and he's got that clout that made them follow what he wanted. It was almost mm-hmm. a James Cameron kind of style thing. Like it was almost oh, yeah, like, absolutely. yeah. Um, so the theater it must be seen on yeah. the big screen. And, the movie, you yeah. See my movie. And, and I've heard, I've heard really not great things about this this uh, this movie. Like I've heard it's very mixed. Very jarbled, mm-hmm. hard to understand, which is not shocking oh. for Chris Nolan. No, all, the, all of his movies are kind of like that. Hard to hear anyway. people speaking. Like yeah. verbally, <laughs> verbally, not easy to understand. Again, that's saying. not a new thing for him either. Um, no, I mean, if yeah. you really look closely at a, at a lot of his movies. <laughs> people. The people. There's mixed <laughs> aspects to a lot of the previous ones, too. But this one just has the added scrutiny of supposedly having to be good enough to justify going to a theater during COVID. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's not it's not gonna measure up. I'm gonna check this out. But again, yeah. we got so much stuff that got pushed out. Um, oh yeah, first I mean, James Bond, right? Those got, got pushed. Wonder like, Woman practically did. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, Mulan came out. I heard that wasn't that great. Corey, you just talked about that. I think last mm-hmm. week was it. You mentioned that. Yeah. And that was not funny. good. Um, that was a better. The movie witches came out. <laughs> the witches came out. Um, wasn't that a show or, or is that? It's a movie remake. And then oh. that was it. Then we had basically Wonder Woman this year. And that's mm-hmm. that's it. Um, yeah. I mean, for me, not, I, I watched more original movies like on Netflix actually than theatrical sure. stuff. There is sure. um, the was Chris Hemsworth one. one. Guard. Yeah. That the old um, guard. Extraction. Extraction. Yeah. Extraction. Old guard. Yep. Um, what was some of the sure. Netflix movies I checked out this year? Yeah, I'm trying to think. The Train to Busan, although that's not new. Yes. I watched um, that one. Yes, that was good. That's older. On, on, your, on his recommendation, I watched that. Yeah, hashtag alive. Um, yeah. And then there's like the series, which, um, like Blood of Zeus, um, Queen's Game. Game. It was excellent. Queen's oh Game my god, was good. like that was. Watch, I was going to go over. I was going to go over series highlight. next, but I'm trying to get like, movies that we may have missed that <clears throat> were on the streaming services. I don't want to miss those kind of things, but. Um, I'm looking now. I know, like Love and that... Monsters was something like, kind of was like a, a air quotes bigger release on stream. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I mean, guys, you ever go back? Let's go back to streaming. We want to go to TV series. You guys forget Tiger King. That came out exactly right. when people. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, the Last Dance happened too. That was that yeah. was a big. That was something I watched. But um, what was that a uh, cult that this? Allison Mack was in. There's a documentary on that too. That was. Uh, there, it's yeah, like Nemex. It's not. Not. Yeah. Not, I forget not, what that, the, the not your brother's band from high school. Not Nemexis, but some similar. 
yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, but um, yeah, I'm just going through like there's a there's a lot of good series that came out like this year. Mm -hmm. the, the one good thing that because we were locked inside, the good thing was I was able to watch some series also that I hadn't seen, like The Good Place on your guys' recommendation. I got to watch that. Uh, very, very good. Um, High Score Girl was another series I really enjoyed. Uh, Queen's Gambit, like you said, on Netflix. Those were good series. Um, didn't Castlevania come out season three? Yeah. Is that the yes, um, yes, that was. So there's that. I mean, I, I mean, Picard came out. I think Picard was this year. And I that was a fantastic series on CBS, uh, All Access. So I 100% like love that series. Uh, anybody that watched Star Trek, you know, Next Generation, check that out. It's fantastic. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think of some other series that. It's hard because, like, it's like what actually, you know, when you look back it's 2020, it's just hard to like remember because of how awkward and weird time felt in this <laughs> this uh, yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Sonic does seem like at least a year or two ago at this point. I mean, it's been I know. It's like unbelievable. Eight months since I've watched it, maybe ten. Yeah. I'm trying to look up when um I'm trying to look up when season two of what we do in the shadows came out. Cause mm -hmm. that was when I uh like that was and obviously Mandalorian we just we need to talk about. Mandalorian. Yeah. What we do in the shadows was this year, and that was a holy shit fantastic show. Uh, I would recommend anybody, anybody on here. You guys haven't watched that show yet, Tony. That's straight up your alley. Check it out. It's, what, it's hilarious. What, what we the do in the shadows. The vampire one. Uh, what about your it's... your your RPG guy show that you like that too? Taika Waititi did this. Uh, he's the the director for he Taika Waititi's show. Gotcha. What RPG yeah. are you talking about, Corey? Oh, there's some Apple show that Jim watched that he liked. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The role playing game. Yeah, yes. Um, the, that was this year. That's right. Um, I forget what that's called. Oh, my gosh. I just upload said last was week, pretty fun, one. too. Upload, yeah. Upload, that's right. But um, Why not? What did I, oh, yeah, I watched the DC Universe stuff, but most of it was done already, except I think maybe Doom Patrol Harley Quinn? Two. I really like Harley Quinn. Doom, Doom Patrol, Patrol Season 2 sure. happened this year as well. Yeah, and that was pretty good, but it ended so weird, and now I have to go on another service. Oh, I mean, like, it's Park. crazy, because... Yeah, movie theaters obviously are hurting real bad. We will see how things go into next year, but uh, these streaming services and how they're going to move forward and what's going to happen with that is going to be an interesting thing to to unpack as we go because we've already seen like Warner Brothers said, oh, we'll just release everything on HBO Max. And then these people are like, oh, well, hey, wait a second. We have stuff in our contract. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. We're there for a reason. Like Dune, all those guys from Dune, oh, that was a movie I was really interested yeah. in. There's lawsuits there. I mean, because mm -hmm. they want to go streaming on that, but they want to release it in the theaters, and it's like, well, when when are we going to see these movies? Like, I mean, mm -hmm. looking back in 2020, like looking forward in 2021, how much different is that? You're gonna is it gonna be much different than this year? Because everything's pushed, and there's no release dates. We don't know when the theaters are going to be able to be safe to go into, to where people are going to feel at least somewhat comfortable. You know, we have the vaccines out here now, and we're way behind in this country on giving out the vaccines. Not a shock. Um, so it's like, I don't think the summer is expected for movie theaters. I don't think till the fall really to have any sort of, and then even then I don't think it's going to be like back of the vengeance. I think it's going to be timid return. It's not going to uh, be like, I mean, people are going to go, man. Like, I, like over this weekend, I went to shop right and uh, the Sinopolis had people like they, that parking lot. Well, was there's, full. there's people there, but uh, it's not, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. There's always going to be people and, like and, Wonder Woman actually did okay, I think. Box office even talk about the box office because it did get released yeah. in theaters also. Yep. That's right. I just skipped the box office. We have to go back. We haven't done the box office since February. No, been no box office. And that was like a staple on our podcast. Um, so I don't we, know. We, we are, some did... of our predictions were like based on box office results too. Yeah. We yeah. have to go back and check those out. We are going to have to redo So definitely fuck those over I, for I, sure. I, guys. You know what's? Let, 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 I'm going to try to do some research. I'm going to try to do some research on that ne this week because I am still home. I'll try to listen to our our predictions for next for this year. Let's go. It's going to be really bad, but I'm going to go back to it and we'll go over it next podcast. Anybody That's what predicted? We're gonna oh, this is going to be a global pandemic that just destroyed everything that you ever thought would be like life. So then you win. What I think, what I'd like to do is usually we do the of the years. Um, 
I guess first, maybe you don't, but I think the, I think we could do it. Uh, our like predictions slash what we did last year on the same episode the next week. I think we should try try to shoot for that. And then okay. what's that going to be January 5th, right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's going to work. I mean, I, I don't know, man, it, it's been a weird year. Uh, I'm quite happy it's coming to an end. Uh, the weirdness is not going to get better until, you know, vaccines are more. Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, you know, I, 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 the worst part about the vaccines right now is like you could get it, but how do you know you can't spread the virus yet after that? Like they don't know that information. So it's like, you know, you can't go and sit in a the theater and be comfortable. Uh, you, you just can't. It's, I don't know. I, just, I, I, I to, to this day, like nowadays, like I find myself always thinking, like, do I have a mask on me? And I'm like, I wait, I don't need one. It's, you know, my household right now. Cause it's like, I was taking like my stuff outside the chairs and stuff. I'm, Cause I'm replacing my chair and I'm like, Oh, you know, I go upstairs and give them this, uh, this stuff. And I'm like, well, should I get my mask? And I'm like, Oh wait, this all went on in my head. I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't need it. Cause I live here. But it's like your first thought is like, I need my mask. Right. And then it's, it's, it's a weird thought nowadays. It's just, I don't know how long it's going to take to leave if it leaves at all anymore going forward. But, um, I don't know. I, I do think box office in 2022, I think we're going to come back to some normalcy. Uh, we will have a a, a billion dollar theater movie, companies can survive that I, long. We'll yeah, I think we'll have a billion dollar movie then. I just don't see a billion dollar movie next year. I just don't. Does anybody? Oh no. No. Uh, what would it even be? Um, Black, Black Widow. It's gonna come out, right? 